Hello everyone and happy holidays. Here we're going to take a look at a time series data set of what Santa's journey might be on December 25th. We're going to make the assumption that Santa wants to offload as many gifts as possible early in his trip. This way he's going to be much more fuel efficient overall. With that assumption in mind, Santa's going to start off here in China. The next three countries are going to be India, United States and Indonesia. Let's take a look at the timing of the different visits that he makes to these countries. Starting off with China. In China, he's going to spend an hour and nine minutes delivering gifts. Then he moves on to India, where he's going to spend an hour and only two minutes. Then to the United States, where he spends just a total of 16 minutes delivering gifts. As we move forward in time, you're going to see that Santa's going to have to start jumping back and forth around the globe faster and faster as the countries become more spaced apart. Here we can see a few countries that are both close to each other in terms of population, but also close in terms of geography. There are two areas here where we can see that the countries are quite close together on the globe. And because they're in order, they are close in terms of population as well. Towards the end of our list in terms of population, you can see that Santa and the reindeer are forced to jump back and forth across the globe with increasing speed. This puts quite the strain on the reindeer. So at the end of the journey, Santa's reindeer are going to have to work overtime to get those gifts delivered. And to wrap things up, let's take a look at what Santa's voyage is going to look like over a period of six hours. Here we can see him jumping back and forth as he starts moving with increasing speed to get around the globe. That's quite a complicated journey. Good luck, Santa Claus. We'll see you next year.